Asante mweshimiwa. God is good. And all the time. Adawa nyuba muriega. Muriega rege. Ngai ni muega. Ingo shiode. Tue hamwe. Neguo. Asante ni sana. Mimi pia ni mudoniwa. <laughs> Kama his excellency. Asante ni sana. Bishop Wangari nilikuwa nimeketi pale na umenifurahisha sana nime receive spiritual nourishment Na amenikumbusha alipokuwa akiongea kuna story katika Biblia in the book of First Kings 12 from verse 1 to 17 The Bible said that after the death of King Solomon and after King Solomon had lost favor his son called Rehoboam took over from him and was installed as a king at a place called Shechem then Jeroboam heard of the installation of Rehoboam as a king Jero Jeroboam went into hiding from King Solomon in Egypt. He came back then together with the elders they went to King Rehoboam told him king we want you to lighten the burden on our shoulders. We want you kupunguza mzigo kwa wananchi wako ili tukupende zaidi. Then Rehoboam told them go and come back after three days. Rehoboam went to the elders who was who were advising his father King Solomon. Ask them what do I tell my people? They want me to remove the yoke, the burden from them. Then the elders told him please go and help your people tell them do unto them what they want remove the yoke from their shoulders Rehoboam ignored and went to his peers his age mates and told them the same thing then his age mates misadvised him told him that go and tell the people that your little finger is bigger than your father's waist that number two, if your father used to beat them with whips you will unleash scorpion on them kama baba yako alikuwa kiwachapa na mjeledi wewe utapeleka nge kwao scorpions and number three, if your father was taxing them you you will overtax them Then Rehoboam went and told the people that then God's favor left Rehoboam as was prophesied by Ahijah the Shilonite therefore the kingdom of Israel divided into two the 12 tribes of Israel 10 tribes the northern kingdom took the Israel kingdom which was headed by Jeroboam the son of Nebat then the kingdom of Judah the southern kingdom was headed by Rehoboam in other words God's favor left Rehoboam na hapa nchi yetu tunaambia rais before the God's favor imwache kwa sababu tukiangalia kahawa ushuru tukiangalia majani chai ushuru tukiangalia maziwa ushuru tukiangalia unga ushuru kila kitu ushuru kwa hivyo hivi karibuni rehoboam wa Kenya atakuwa replaced na jerobo jeroboam bishop umeombea His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka 
umempaka mafuta hapa wale wengine wakikuja wapakwe mafuta waambie mafuta yameisha maji ndio iko asanteni sana mungu awabariki